Today we're going to show you how to make this with Marco steel wire cable tray. Cable basket. I think a basket, I think a chicken. A scampi. Okay, so we're looking at basket and we've been playing around with this today. Well, exclusively probably me, while well, you've been checking out a few of the part numbers for some of the bits we've got down here. And I'd like to ask the question, why are we still using cable tray when this stuff's brilliant? You're right, Gary. You look like you've had a lot of fun. Yeah, you're right. I, I delved into the part numbers and this range is immense and we're only going to touch on elements of it today yeah. to get you into the basics because, yeah, you're right. Most people think of cable tray and that's armoured cable on there and basket as probably data cables and the, the lighter side of the electrical industry. But let me tell you, this stuff is rock solid yeah. and really robust. and. Yeah, it's ideal for all sorts of cable. And phenomenally easy to fabricate. I'm gonna show you some of the fabrications that I've made out down here. But I started off with just, just cutting it in half and we didn't get it quite right to start with, did we? We had to play around with it, but when we got the technique, believe it or not, there was a technique, it was a doddle. Shall we see it? Yeah, let's have a look. To say I've had some fun today, just cutting and fabricating this cable basket with these miniature bolt croppers you can imagine eh? these tiny little fellas okay it's been great fun so all we're going to do in this one is i'm just going to cut this cable tray in half it's exactly the same technique for all the fabrication cuts i've made in videos we're going to see in a minute so here we go so open them up put it into position and you want to keep it in line we're going to cut the back first i cut most of the pieces on the floor today it's going to be a bit more of a challenge on a table but that stays in line and we talked about 45 degrees now it's not 45 degrees that way gordon mm. it's actually laying back 45 yeah, degrees. So you don't want the straight edge. You might naturally think you want the straight edge down yep. there, but you don't, you want the beveled edge back. from. Absolutely. The so blades in line with the back piece at 45 degrees, cut it. And it makes a slightly different sound when you get it perfect. And that one was perfect. I don't suggest doing it more perfect. In again with the, the blade. Okay, you're in line there. Yeah, in line, you happy with that? And yeah. I've got the 45. Oh. There we go. Well, yeah, the yeah, well, absolutely. Please. I've had a great day. So again, so it's just a case on a table, it's a little bit more difficult. So we're there. That was perfect. Again, lean it back. Okay, okay. so if you want to go into the side for us. If anyone's got any top tips on what you do with these leftover parts, then please put them in the comments below. On that. And you see the fun of that. Take this one out. That's the sound you want. That's the sound you want. Pop over. The Christmas album coming out now, the sound of metal crunching. Love it. <laughs> First one in the queue. Oh, just going to be immensely disappointed when I stop doing this. Let's rescue that last bit. Okay, put it around there. Happy oh, days. Yeah. Nice uh, clean cut edges back to where you want to be. Yeah. Part, if you don't get those the right way, you obviously can't use the accessories that we'll look at next. Okay, absolutely. And you can see how much fun I've had by how many of them I've collected up. Well, that looked fun, Gary. I'm no surprise I couldn't wrestle these off you all day. But, you know, that's really interesting, isn't it? You can do all this fabrication on site. And what we're going to look at now is how we fabricate and join different components with these and that collection of metal components in front of you there. Absolutely. All the sizes of cable basket from 50 mil to 600 mil get fabricated with those bolt croppers, which makes it great. For, and picking them up off the floor when you've cut them away is also satisfying. Let's look maybe next at how we join two lengths together. Do you want to see how easy yeah, that is? Start with Let's that. go how easy that one is. So the first connecting method, we're going to use the quick click system. Just give me that part number, Gordon. Oh, catchy as ever. It's the MC FJC. Right, by the time you've got that done, I've almost got the first one fitted. These come already attached to each length of basket. What's the thinking behind that, Gordon? Okay, well, they just basically click together with no tools, but they are removable from the actual basket itself. On some systems, they're actually attached, so you can't remove them if you were to shorten the basket. Okay, so nice close-up shot here of just clicking it in. Look how easy that is. We've got another method of joining them together here, Gordon, with the hook coupler. Just give me that part number, please. Oh, that's another one. It's another M. It's MCHC-S. All right, again, look how simple this is. Bottom section in first, click the top into place. Let's see it again. Hook underneath the bottom bar, click onto the top. There you go, we've joined it together. Let's have a little bit of a closer look just so it wasn't no uh, mystery to it. So underneath first, click up there, Gordon. Yeah, that's a very secure fixing that's got there. So let's have a look at a third method of joining the basket together. This is the fast fix side coupler. Give us that part number, Gordon. Well, guess what it starts with, Gary? Is it an M by any chance? It is, it's MCSSC. Okay, 
doesn't take away from the fact they're really quick to fix and get a really secure fix in. So watch again. So we slide it through. Okay. And I've got to put some pressure on here. Just push it into place. Take my posi drive screwdriver. Just make a small turn. Turn it into position. It's locked tightly together. Have a closer look now, Gordon. Yeah, look, again, looks like a very firm fixing. Yeah, and very fast, oh, which is good. So watch me now. I'll just push it back this time with my screwdriver and just make that turn, turn it locked into position. Really good. The quick click system there, the one that comes already on the actual lengths of basket now, Gordon, was feedback from electricians. They wanted the, the system on here and it to be able to be used wherever you cut it in the length. You just pop them off, move it down into the appropriate position and make that join. Okay, yeah, so on some systems, yeah, that's sort of almost welded onto the tray. Yeah. So if you cut in the wrong place, you've lost your coupler. You have. Yeah, but I, what, what has really impressed me is actually for such a simple simple operation how robust yeah. that is i mean that is not coming yeah. apart unless you wanted to get it apart in which and, case and that's it, easy it, as it's well. well yeah uh -huh. yeah i can't believe this has been kept secret from us for no. so long somebody's been hiding it away from us so we've so we've cut it we've joined it together so of course then you're on site and you've got to fabricate 90 degrees and things like that we, we had a little go a few of them so we're not going to go through all of them but we tackled some of the fabrication which we'll show you now so I'm going to fabricate now a 90 degree bend. I've chopped out the sections I need to do. Just fold it in. And again, this is going to be super simple. I'm just going to take a bolt and plate arrangement in order to clasp it into position. And I'm going to use uh, my second tool of the day in a minute. I'm going to use the socket set by the side of me in order to hold that into position. Do you want a part number for that nut and bolt arrangement, Gary? Does it start with an M and a C? <laughs> That's the MCCA. Okay, so we're going to just tighten that up. Okay, in order that we've got a, a 90 degree. So. Fun with the bolt croppers, followed by that bolt arrangement in order to hold it. So I'm going to make you another 90 degree bend and I'm going to take it then, Gordon, to another level. I'm going to use the quick lock smalls for these. What's their part number? Oh, that's the MCQLS, Gary. So okay. I'll do a large version. Okay. Guess what the part number is for that? <laughs> Don't surprise me. <laughs> the MCQLL. Okay, joking aside again, look at this. As, as we're having a little bit of joke, look at it, it just clips together easy. Pop it in there, bang. That's 90. I've already got it to 90. Fabricated the tray to start with by removing the sections. I'm at 90, but I'm going to take it, as I said, another level, Gordon. What are you going to do now? Where are you off to? <laughs> oh, well, you wait and see. So, look, in we go, clip. Yeah, that's good. So, one more to go. So, we've now got it kicked off. So, if I put one more in, you can see that I'll be come round a full 180 degrees by just simply cutting out using the bolt croppers and then using those uh, connectors in order to connect it. Look at that. Easy, simple, we love it. Nice close up one for you, no tricks to this, Gordon. Okay, so the small bracket is used on trays between 100 and 200 millimeter, and obviously the larger one is for the larger trays. I think you made that look almost too easy, Gary. Bolt croppers, take out a few sections, fold it in as, as needed. Yeah, wow, and there's loads of other variants oh, you yeah. can do, isn't it? You can Absolutely. have, obviously, if you had wider tray, you can reduce the, reduce the width, you can do, uh, intersections or uh, two pieces yeah, etc pieces yeah in uh, different heights and yeah offsets yeah everything you can we've done one here all we've done here with this Hold section on. whoa 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 what are you gonna I'll do go. oh just you know, clips for this one oh. i'll move some bits out of the way for you then <laughs> come on in. in you come i'll have a go i'll step to one side look at that oh that is so we'd have a piece of strut, easy. piece of strut to support, and we'll show you in a minute how easy it is to fit it to the uni strut as well. So we've got a nice slow bend there in order to bring our cables up a location. Fantastic. And all we did, use the bolt croppers to remove a couple of sections. Yeah, remove a section. So yeah, you're thinking about that. You don't need to buy any prefabricated joints. No. Yeah, and obviously a lot of sites don't like you obviously doing fabrication this isn't really on-site fabrication is it? it's just clopping out bits of wire yeah no sparks created here so yeah brilliant so i said they're fixing it to uni strut wait for it quick easy fast you'll see it now so let's attach our cable basket now to uni strut using our fast fix universal strut clip gordon give us a part number okay it's the mc surprise surprise f-u-s-c wow by the time you've got that out i've already fitted it clips in and as always it's either got fast or quick in it and they're both correct in every terms bang done okay then gordon give me some of those technical features you love to give us 
What type of finish does it come in? See, I'm not here just for the part numbers. So this is an electro zinc finish, right. okay. so suitable for interior applications where possibly haven't got a corrosive atmosphere. It does come in hot dip galvanized, similar as you would find on cable trays, pre-galvanized or a powder coat finish options as well, but they're all to special order. The depth of it comes in 30 mil, it comes in 55 and 106 mil depth, and the maximum width I think I said earlier was 600 mil, which yeah. is massive, isn't it, Gordon? Mm. So again, very similar to what you'd expect on cable tray, but you say we've only touched the surface of, of the range. There's loads more widgets you can do all sorts of things with, you know, for suspended hangings. There's a lid you can get yeah. to go on top. Yeah. Loads of options. We can't believe it isn't being used more, so we always want your feedback. Are you currently moved away from tray and only fit basket? Is this the type of basket you fit, or are you thinking about fitting it in the future? Is this range from Atcor your go-to basket range? Please leave those comments below, and we're gonna try and get back to as many as we can. We've had a blast today, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, and if you've got any more art forms you've made with it, then yeah, send us a picture.